Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Skyrim. So last time, we broke into the secret prison inside the Mythic Dawn HQ, and now we got to bust our fellow mole out of here, and apparently the Inquisitor is also a mole. Like, damn. Let's Come on, buddy, get out of here. Time. Let's go. The kitchen is this way. I'm coming, I'm coming. I clearly remember how I got into this jail cell from the kitchen. There's no need to rush. <laughs> you literally just said, let's not waste any time, and now you're saying no need to rush. Make up your goddamn minds. And clearly there is a need to rush because we have to get out of here before we get spotted. Otherwise, probably gonna fail the entire bloody thing. My god, Inquisitor, walk faster. Get out of my way. Out of the damn way. What is it? <laughs> what do you mean? What is it? Why are these guys so casual about it? Okay, is there anyone out here that's gonna spot us? Hello? Okay, it doesn't look like it. The coast is clear. Dover Bear! What the hell are you doing? Don't block the doorway. People need to get through. Oh my god. What are these guys doing? Speed the balls up, even Jazago's quicker than you, and Jazago isn't quicker than anybody. Holy shit. This is gonna take some time. Hooray, we finally made it to the kitchen. Good lord, that took forever. Hey, we got a problem. That chef over there, he saw me when I was getting dragged down to the prison. He'll recognize my face. Okay, so kill him. What do you want me to do about it? Apparently nothing. I need to get out of here. I know you need to get out of here, we're working on it, and you are not helping, quite frankly. Get out of my goddamn way. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to talk to this guy and just kill him. Let's try talking to him first. Stop touching my tools. Go away. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go with... Hey, shouldn't you be somewhere else right now? What? What now? I don't freaking know, I just want you out of this place, quite frankly. <laughs> There's a rumor going around that you're the killer. Now let's go with, for Dave wants you to bring his special meal to his office. Do it, I do know, it now. I know, I am on my way. Well isn't that convenient? Get out of my sight. Dover Bear move your fat ass out of his way so he can walk around there. You know how bad the AI part thing is. There we go, okay. What the hell are we supposed to be doing now? Get out of here buddy, you're going the wrong way. That's a chair. Oh my guts. Why is the AI so bad in this game? It's ridiculous. Okay, apparently he's going in here anyway, incredibly slowly. Don't rush or anything, will you, buddy? Like my get. What's this? Ingredient collector's tunic. Yoink! We can dress Jizalgo up. I think this is the way out. Thank you once again. I truly hope you and Gaben can complete what is already started. May Stender's mercy be with the both of you. Godspeed, buddy. Godspeed. I salute you, sir. Will you move? Holy crap! This is the most casual escape I have ever seen, ever. It's ridiculous. Okay, so what the hell are we supposed to be doing now? Do we have to wait for that guy to leave or go back to the Inquisitor? I ain't got a goddamn clue. Double bag it out the doorway. Okay, we gotta go back to the Inquisitor. Okay, I finally found the guy. Gee, thanks for running off, buddy. What, what the hell? Lobo has left the cave. What do we do now? Bad news. Dalamus found out about the death of his brother. He'll soon round up every suspect into his office. So it's just me then, basically. What about the Sigil Stone? Pay attention. Dalamus won't do anything with the Sigil Stone until he captures the murderer. Look, if he summons you to his office, just be reasonable. I might be able to help you out, but don't say anything stupid. <laughs> me say something stupid? Never happen. Do you think he Not knows entirely, about me? But he did put you on his blacklist. Trust me, he'll make you come forward. Like I said, when he asks, answer with your best judgment. Now, go back to your dorm and act normal. And by act normal, I assume you mean run around with a bear and a cat man, assassinating people and stealing shit. Can do, okay. Question is, how the hell do I get back to the dorm? I never remember how to get back there, I just use the goddamn arrow. Oh shit. Apparently all of the bigwigs are here. That's not good. Get out of the way, oh my god. Okay, I've been waiting here for some time and jack shit has happened, so screw it. Let's try talking to Elenu. What do we want to ask her though is the question, I, I guess. Tell me about Vaden Arathon. Well, my father is really secretive most of the time. I mean, he's in charge of all the classified missions for the family. Okay, not entirely sure that actually helped me whatsoever. Okay then, get out of my sets. Oh God, you scared the crap out of me, dude. Don't do that. For what? I don't know. But he sounds pretty furious. No, oh, but I just came from the office. God damn it. Okay, Dizago, get out of the damn way. What the hell? Everyone keeps getting him away in this place. Okay, I believe we are finally at the office, and holy crap, that took forever. What's up, buddy? Everyone's here. Let's begin. Tareen, shut the door. And don't let anyone in or out until the Master says so. 
As you wish. As most of us already know, there has been a series of most unfortunate events. God damn it, Dover Bear! We lost two recruits on logistic duty. Urza the Smith, Cosius Entis, and then my mentor and beloved brother, for Dave Arthan. It wasn't me. It was we totally me. Of tracing, and with help of our old friend, Little Bird. We were able to identify the killer as a mole from fanatics. I swear my life to the brothers and sisters who are now walking the dead land. The mole will be caught and shall taste the bitterness of vengeance. Peric, begin the Inquisition. Since the death of Orzab, the mandatory reports have been issued. As of now, almost everyone has visited me at least once in my office. With a collection of reports and messages from Little Bird, I was able to narrow it down to three possible suspects. These three. Ornias, Sabanunai, and this acolyte here have either provided inadequate information or have been pointed as suspects. What? That's absurd. I demand to see my lawyer. Dalamus is holding a trial and you are being accused as a potential mole for the audio response is... Gus with the two eyes wide open. What? Deny yourself I am not the mole. Good work there. Very good defense. Laugh out loud psychotically. <laughs> I kind of like that one. I, I think the other two are kind of stupid so we'll go with... What? Now, Sabanunai. What were you doing during the night the two logistics were murdered? I was with Cassius. He was complaining about the air vent not functioning as expected. Do you have a witness who can confirm that claim? Sadly, Fidave was the only other person with me at the time. Or Nias, tell me again what you were doing during the night when the death of the logistics occurred. Come on, Peric, I was... I was drunk. I don't keep track of what I do. And what about you, Acolyte? Tell us what you were doing. Well, I wasn't jacking it if that's what you're implying. Your response is, answer appropriately, sir. I wasn't even here when those two died. I kinda had to be. Explain briefly, I was getting tortured by the fanatics. Ridicule the Inquisition, yes, I admit it. I killed those two. That's probably not a good idea. I guess we'll go with explain briefly, I was getting captured and tortured. It was sexy. He's right. We were getting thrown into the jail after the torture. He can't be the murderer. In that case... That acolyte can't be the mole. Eric, why did you say that it could be him? Good question! You're supposed to be on my goddamn yes. side! I told him so. You know, I've been thinking. We are assuming the operation of just one mole. But what if? What if there were more than just one? In such case, I appeared after the first murder. Would be quite a convincing reason. But it could also blind us from recognizing. Do you the mind you're kicking my bear? Mole. <clears throat> Next inquiry. The death of Orzab Shuzgub. We found Orzab's dead body in her own smithing room. Orzab is known to lock the door quite tightly, all the time. The mole must have broken in somehow. I've devised two scenarios. Someone either picked the lock and murdered her, or someone poisoned her food and delivered it to her. Well, that's where you're wrong, buddy. I stole the key. In fact, what forget I said that. Possibility that someone sneaks inside of the metal crates and assassinate her when she brings it into her room. Well, those things I could have done, that sounds way more entertaining. I suppose that's also a plausible alternative. Now, Sabanunai, 
Tell us what you were doing the day Ozab died. I was in my office, reading books and organizing the material list for Cassius. A likely story! Oh, you were, Anias. What were you doing? I think I, uh, um, I think I was cleaning the kitchen. The kitchen was filthy, very, very filthy. Because it was covered in blood from you murdering people! When you came to my office, you reported that you were cutting vegetables all day for FedEx special meal. Lawyer! Oh yeah, what well, too. The filthy rats ate all the cabbages, so I was cutting cabbages all day. What about you, Acolyte? What were you doing? Killing people and stealing shit. Okay, so we can appeal to Vaden. I believe I was out retrieving the Zoxies. I don't know if I was. Provide a suitable alibi, or was on some kind of logistic duty. Frame Arrhenius. Arrhenius must have killed Urzob. I saw him going into the smithing room. Yes. Wait, what? Oh, come on. Fedolfi told me I should take her meal to a room. Nothing more to say. You didn't happen to drop rat poison into her food, did you? Good thinking, buddy. I like it. Not a chance. I take my cooking more seriously than anything else. For a serious cook, you are drunk half the time. Yeah, you lush. Acolyte, the question was what you were doing, not what Arrhenius was doing. Answer it. Now. Brother, was not that the time when I sent the Acolyte on the mission to retrieve the Xarxes? I believe so. We did discover her dead body when they were away. <laughs> not to mention, her body was still warm when we found it. Next case. Death of Cosius Entius. Hold on. Hasn't Cosius been killed by his own magic anomalies? Yes. I am sure. He was killed by an accident. But it strikes me as odd, knowing that he conducted over a hundred dangerous experiments. Look, clearly it was an accident. However, Let's just drop it, okay? He I didn't kill him. He got himself into much trouble before. But suddenly, when we have a mole problem, he gets killed by his own summoning. Let us suppose the worst, and say he wasn't killed in an accident. What do you people have to say for yourselves? The chef did it! In the dining room with the wrench! Lucius was a good man, and I had absolutely nothing to do with his death. He was a genius, but too stubborn to be open-minded. I used to warn him that his experiments would cost him his life someday. Because you were gonna murder him, you backstabbing son of a bitch! Okay, express agony! I feel sorry for Cocius. Repeat after Arrhenius, I had absolutely nothing to do with his death. Blame Cocius for his own death, he got what he deserved. I guess we'll go with repeat after the chef. His death was not an accident, but clearly a murder. Cosius was on the verge of decrypting the Zarzis. I agree. At least he taught me enough to get it to work. After this trial, Varden and I will be heading into the portal. Speaking of which, Peric, remind me again once we are done with this trial. There is something I need to tell you. I will. Next inquiry. We have a report from Little Bird. He pointed out that the Mole was tailing him when Vaden left to meet him. The Mole made a mistake and fell into his trap of Inferno instead. Hmm. Or Anias, you seem burned lately. Haven't you been into the kitchen? Anyone who works there eventually gets burned up. I haven't been outside the library since the death of Cassius. You can ask anyone. Okay, so we can appeal to Delamus. I was busy searching for the Master's Razor. Provide a suitable alibi, I was cleaning the stockroom with Olim or Lai. I'd never left the cave since Cassius died. We'll go with the first one, because ask kissing usually works. That is irrelevant. 
We would like to know exactly what you did when you stepped out of the cavern. Actually, it is not entirely irrelevant. I've spent decades or more my entire life searching for the razor of Merune's Dagon. Although he did not find it, the task requires much effort and time outside of the cavern. I do not need to hear the details about it. Well, shit. We did find it, but we haven't given it to him yet. The next inquiry is the death of Fede of Arathen, and the escape of the prisoner Lorbel. Until the Master mentioned it earlier in the trial, I didn't even know Fede had passed away. Like I said before, I rarely leave the library. I was making for Dobby's special meal all day. When I got to his office, he was gone. Or Anias. Were you aware that the prisoner from Fedave's prison escaped through the kitchen's secret passage? Of course he knew he's the mole. I say we someone kill him. Someone escaped through the kitchen? What are you asking me if someone escaped through the kitchen? Because you're the chef, you moron! Because you are the only one who knew about the secret entrance in the kitchen. Furthermore, Fedave thought you were trustworthy enough to be placed there. In addition, the guard captain already clarified. No one else passed through the main entrance. Ornias, answer honestly and your punishment might be reduced to a much more bearable one. Did you kill Fedave and free Lorbel? Yes, I did. He admitted what? it. Kill him. I did not kill Fedavi. He is the only one who approved of me. Why would I do such a thing? Ornias, you knew about the prisoners. And you were at the kitchen all day when Lorbel escaped. I really don't believe that you didn't know Lorbel escaped through the kitchen. This trial is a jest. I'm being victimized for no good reason. Keep your objections to yourself, Oranias. Yeah, you murdering son of a bitch. Enough. Let me hear what the Acolyte has to say. <laughs> Wink at the Inquisitor. I was with you, wasn't I? Provide a suitable alibi. I was busy with a fuel tank or frame on Arrhenius. I saw Arrhenius putting poison in for Dave's food. Totally doing that. Screw you, Chef. No way. I only put poison in the dishes that I use to kill the rats. You put poison on the dishes that you serve us with? I only drop poison into rusty old dishes. Trust me, I don't use those for serving food. And you never saw our prisoner escaping through your kitchen. You know what? The Zakala here distracted me. He told me to get out of the kitchen. That must be when the prisoner got away. Shit! What? Acolyte, why did you distract him? I have to say, I am in doubt, Acolyte. Something doesn't add up. Other than the death of logistics, your reasons are vague at best. I am still not convinced that you are fully innocent. Well, boss, Delamus is blatantly accusing you. Your response is, raise your voice. I saved Sams and Helenu. What more do I have to do to prove myself? Criticize Erethans. Unbelievable. I don't know the task given to me by Erethans, and this is how you treat me. Expose yourself. That's a bit dirty. You're right. What are you going to do about it? Let's raise our voice. That's enough. I believe I know who the mole is. The one who murdered our brothers and sisters. The one who was sent by the fanatics to destroy the work of mythic dawn. The mole is... Uranius. Yes, what? suck what? on I'm that! Innocent. I'm not the mole. Tarin, give that traitor what he deserves. Damn! 
him. <laughs> I go fucked up. With me. Right, Peric. We've got some good news. I am able to create a portal to take us to the realm which we can rebuild the Oblivion. Initially, I planned to take for Dave, Varden, and Little Bird, but for Dave is gone, and Little Bird won't be able to come here soon enough. I was thinking about substituting you and Sars instead. What do you say? Bring me along. I won't backstab you. I'm honored. One question. Can the portal take more than four souls? If Cosius was here, he probably could have done so. But unfortunately, at the moment, this was all I could do. Come back here when you are ready. I can't wait to get it started. Okay, well that was the world's longest inquisition, and we got the chef killed. Hooray! Alrighty guys, I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I was appreciate like, and I'll see you guys next time for more Skyrim.